Should kids play with these one star rated toys? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. If you wanna see us play live this summer, and I know you do, get your concert tickets at rhettandlinklive.com and you too can harals. Have a Rhett and Link summer. Oh, it's an acronym. Well, my mom always told me just because you can play with it doesn't mean you should. <laughs> and I'm talking about poorly reviewed toys. Uh. But can we tell if it's highly or lowly rated just through sheer inspection? Mm -hmm. It's time for, is this Amazon toy one star or five? I don't know. what I look like, Jeff Bezos? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be given two Amazon products, one with a majority of five star ratings, another with a majority one star rating. And using our impeccable toy playing skills, we're gonna guess which is the one star and which is the five star. And the winner gets to keep an item of their choosing. Ooh. Let's play. First up, we've got Prankstar 2060 Pudo 2 pack for $7.99 versus the Poopsie Slime Surprise Unicorn for $39.34. Which is the one star toy? Okay, so this is obvious. This is basically Play Doh. Now, I will say that there is a corn and a peanut. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Little mold. Oh, it's on there tight. All right, just like, this looks like just chocolate icing, but when put in the proper shape, it's probably gonna, I'll roll oh, it that, that's kind of the darker one. Here, put it, you know how sometimes you get a little bit different colors? Yeah, it depends on how many different meals yeah. you have together back to back. Uh, you know, hold on, get a little bit of the corn and the peanut. Here's a little bit more right there too. It'll, it'll squish out if you don't need it. All right, and it, you said this was called a what? Poopsie. A surprise, poopsie. Slime surprise, unicorn. All right, so I, this is filled up with something, with some sort of water and I'm gonna feed it because it, I was told that it's in, it's in eat mode. <laughs> oh, hold on, it's going right through it. Oh no. It's pooping out as you do it's it. It's already pooping uh, instantly? You're supposed to, you're supposed to switch it to poop mode. That little unicorn eats her fiber. <laughs> and then push the button and then it, the hatch is just constantly open. Well, I'm not gonna show you the hatch. You can know what it looks like. but. Yeah, so immediately it just started, oh gosh, look at that. Runs right through her, her and her arm tattoos. And then, okay, there's glitter in that. So it's like glitter pee. I ain't touching that. Are you having fun? That's the question. I'm actually angry because there's glitter involved. Well, but look at that, look at that turd. You Whoa. Can, and you can eat it because it's chocolate. No, it's not. No, oh, this was trying to trick you. Uh, I, I got excited for a second. Now. Hold but on, I will no. say, I mean. When with their powers combined, now. <laughs> now oh, she did nah. a big duty. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, you get to go roller skating now. And look, corn and a peanut. Oh, Good you, for you. And you can eat it again. <laughs> Don't feed the unicorn feces. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're gonna put our hand over which one we believe is predominantly one star. See, there's three glitters right there. You ready? Yep. It's against our rules to have well, glitter. Yeah, yeah. Three, <laughs> two, one. This piece of crap, no pun intended, yeah. it didn't even go into poop mode. It was, it's all, it's constantly in poop mode. Yeah, because this piece of crap really makes a great piece of crap. That's, that is reliable dookie maker. I mean, it's really, Just really like good. Just like me, when I've eaten my fiber. The one star toy is the Poopsie Slime Surprise Unicorn. Yes, yes, of course it is. But you know, the number one complaint is that is the opposite of what we found. The complaint is that the unicorn is constipated. Not oh. in our case. Well, no. Come see us. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out. The proof is in the pooping. Next up, we've got the Kangaroo Multi Voice Changer for thirteen ninety five Kangaroo. versus the Accoutrements Yodeling Pickle for fourteen ninety nine. Which is the one star toy? $15 for a yodeling pickle? Let's hear that thing yodel. Which came first, this or the kid in Walmart? I think he may have been inspired by it. Oh, really? I think he may have been. 
I think he may have been inspired by it. Now you're supposed to sound like a kangaroo with this thing? It, it's a voice transformer. It's a voice transformer. And then you do different combinations. Okay, maybe whistle. It's a voice transformer. Same voice. It's a voice transformer. Oh, well you don't change your voice. It's a voice transformer. It's a voice transformer. Change it, change it it's again. It's a voice transformer that doesn't work very well. It's a voice transformer that doesn't work very well. Oh, that changed. Here, let's try this. Let's do it. Let's transform a yodel. So the sensitivity, the sensitivity on this thing is not great. You have to talk pretty loudly, and you actually end up hearing my voice, and so you don't hear the. It just makes a weird static. I can't understand you, man. Either way. Yeah. Um, here. Oh, shut up. I didn't mean to push you again. Stop it. 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 That's a durable Indestructible. pickle. Indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. If you did that to a regular pickle, you know what would happen? You'd have, you'd have a uh, relish. <laughs> oh, shut up. Okay, ready. All right, I'm going to put you back in your box. Here we go. Three, two, one. Obviously, yeah, right? This one, man. It's the voice changer. Yeah. Reviewers say it of just course. plain didn't work, including this one review stating, my son used his birthday money to purchase this. He was very disappointed. All settings sounded almost identical. Yeah. All settings make your voice sound incomprehensible. Yeah. My son is very disappointed with this. Not as described. This is not as described. Drop it, say drop it. Drop it. Yeah. That's drop it. When you do RoboCop, it works. Drop it. Not as well as when you don't use it, though. For this round, we've got the Air Swimmer's Remote Control Flying Shark for $34.97 versus the Hansa Plush Ride U for $414.90. Which ha! is the one-star toy? Oh, my goodness. Look at this thing. What did you say this thing costs? $414.90. Is it real? And how much is a shark? $34.97. Well, I think what we just learned is don't damage this thing because we're returning it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing is so expensive. And oh, Whoa, hey, hey, out, hey don't buddy. break it. Well, here's the thing. We used, you remember we had one of these? The female. Years ago, during a mythical show, yes. there was some segment where we brought one of these in and it looks like exactly the same kind. We and went through all the holidays in a month in episode six of The Mythical Show. There you go, see, fun fact. And the thing about this thing is that it's, you're still selling it. It stayed. So many years later. After we had it, it stayed in our storage closet for like months, and whenever the kids would come over, Lando walked downstairs and saw it and freaked out so bad he wouldn't come to the studio for like a year. And I tried to introduce him to the, to the shark, and he was terrified of it. Oh. Um, and it, I, there's not a lot of fidelity to how this thing is. Wow. On the belly rub. Man, this thing is so plush, it's so nice. So, I mean, you can really get down the, um, like the motion of this thing to make it realistic. Are you supposed to cuddle with this? This, this is difficult. Um, what would, what, what are you expecting when you get a $400 sheet? Uh, I don't know. Is there a blow up doll kind of situation happening? Okay. Right. I don't know. There's no holes in the back. <clears throat> I, I can't find anything wrong with this guy, except the price. Right, it could right. be like a uh, an expectation versus reality thing. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Yep, I think it's, I think it's this. Thing. I'm giving it to the, to the, to the, to the shark. I didn't want to, like he's being shunned in the corner. The one star toy is. The remote control shark. Yeah, I didn't vote for Customers you. Customers complained huh, that it died it quickly, which would have made for a very different right. Jaws movie. Uh, good one. This guy's so expensive, though. He's, he's, so he's nice, my new though. best friend. All right, we've got the Crybaby's Lala Baby Doll for 1878 versus the Lil Pals live action dancing robot for 1699. Dancing. Which is the one star toy. Let's okay. check out this doll. I've been told if I take this out, something will happen. 
Oh, I heard that. Okay. The baby's oh, crying. Her eyes are leaking. Her eyes are leaking what? water. Is what she is crying? that called? She's crying? crying? She's crying. Oh, let me put it back in. I don't want the baby to cry. Oh, yeah, wow. Dude. It's not a lot of, it's just some little dramatic tears. Like if you push on the eye, do more tears come out? No, she just cries louder. <laughs> Watch this, that's unsettling. I don't, I, you know what? I got a vasectomy so I didn't have to hear that. Yep, plug her up. All right, what All right, doing? and then there's this, this guy will dance maybe if I turn this on, don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Come this way. Whoa, oh, oh, it's crazy. I think my question is, what is he, what is he spinning on? What's that? His third leg. Well, after a while. Oh, he's really crying now. Look at okay. she's crying. Whoa. She's uh, Yeah, I'm on. feeling you, girl. Hold on. She look, she's not even making any noise anymore. She get, she gave out and now she's just crying. Oh, she's crying so you much. You know what would make it better? <laughs> Like a say, really bad date. You are a heartless <laughs> jerk. Okay. All right, I'm ready to vote. Uh, wow. I, I don't know if I am ready to vote. Wait, is it just me or is the robot doing like the dance from Fiddler on the Roof? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spinning on his fiddle. All right. Uh, I, <laughs> this is not. This isn't immediately obvious to me. Is it obvious to you? It is not obvious, but um, I'm, I'm ready to make a commitment. I'll tell you why uh, afterward. Okay. Three, two, one. This one. Oh, me too. You sure you don't want to change? You sure you don't want to change? You sure you don't want to change? I'm not going to change because you're in the lead. I, I think it's this one because it's it's annoying and unpredictable. That one sits still and just cries. It's but annoying, what? but it's not this unpredictable. One didn't, just to make it interesting, I'm going to go with this one because this didn't work the first time I did it. I'm going with this. Hmm. The yes. one star toy is. The Lil Pals Dancing Robot. <laughs> because it's so loud, one reviewer claims it could wake the dead. What is that, Dancing Robot? It did, it did scare me right when it came on. Okay, Replay. <laughs> that means we tied, and uh, if that means if, if you want the uh, Dancing Robot, you can have it, because um, we each get to take home what we want. I'm taking that sheep home. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm taking the afternoon off. I kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of like having emotional people. Emotional kids around me. So oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add you to like, that. You like to feel dependent upon. Yeah. And it's so easy. To, it's so easy to stop the crying of that one. Okay, we're both winners. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Dominic from Clearfield, Pennsylvania, and it's time to spin Wheel of Mythicality. Nice. Look at that chalk. Click the top link to watch us make homemade cotton candy with a four-star toy cotton candy maker. We bought on Amazon. A good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Steer your ears towards some biscuits you can hear. Listen to new episodes of Ear Biscuits now on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts.